Good morning, folks. We've got a space weather alert, eye candy from a hurricane, confirmation for Dr. Robitaille, and revelations about the Parker Instability current sheet in the galaxy. Let's begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com, and we have quiet active regions on the south, and on the north incoming, we have the next set of coronal holes. The solar wind right now is very quiet and quieting further, leaving geomagnetic conditions hugging the floor a bit too much. 27-hour KP is 0.11 and 18-hour KP is 0. That's a strong health alert for high-risk cardiac and psychiatric patients. Let's go to the hurricane. IOTA is Category 4 and moving fast at Central America. On GO-16, using the night distinction and lightning overlay, we'll see a tremendous amount of eye-wall lightning. Flash and spin around the axis there. Moving on to seismicity next, top quake of the day came in at 6.1 in the Philippines. Luckily, its 40-kilometer depth reduced the felt effects at the surface. Up next, we're looking at a top-notch team that includes people from Princeton, Berkeley, and NASA, among other top organizations. And they are finding that a lot of what has been told to us by Dr. Robitaille about the noise in the Planck data is true. In fact, there is way more noise than the original team can reasonably filter out. It's now no longer just Dr. Robitaille saying the CMB polarization reconstruction is not yet a viable science tool for cosmology. Up next, it's really going to seem like we're doing cosmology and galactic astrophysics here, but before you know it, we'll be back at disaster. The main finding is that we have further evidence that the galactic large-scale magnetic fields are threading the outflows of material from the system. One of the key indirect signals of this discovery is that you don't need such a dark matter halo outside if there are large-scale unaccounted-for dynamics within the system. Now let's come at that from another angle, but scaled down with the sun. Interplanetary magnetic field mapping continues to show the Parker spiral wave undulation beginning near the sun, that's the curve there. The wave continues up and down to distances past Pluto. And that Parker spiral shape with the entrained wave is also how they model the large-scale magnetic fields of the galaxy. Told you we were coming back. The plane within the toroidal and poloidal systems contains that same curving, wavy Parker spiral. And you may recall how the last galactic plane gamma survey seemed to show the wave, especially in the fainter red returns where the sheet is exciting galactic gas. And today, we have the next generation of that survey. While not as pretty without the blue, yellow, and red colors, the same, vastly wider survey shows the returns fail to hug the true line and again show that slight up and down. These ups and downs at the small scale in there also match the polarity reversals, the galactic magnetic sectors. And folks, it is this wavy Parker spiral plane component of the galactic magnetic fields that is the recurring cause of the catastrophe. Not only is there no other way to explain all of the evidence, but there's no other cycle or geophysical evidence cycle on Earth that would match up with the galactic magnetic reversals. It's just this one. We greatly appreciate your support. The evidence, catastrophes, myth, religion stories, the core mantle boundary, crust mantle boundary, the magnetic excursion, and solar micronova. Pre-order today at otf.cells.com. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.